for free. That's a Joe. Ready to once again get Kraken. And how are you all doing on this fine and wonderful, gloomy and rainy New Year's Eve? I hope you're doing great and fantastic and wonderful. Uh, on the plus side, feeling this sure, yeah, slurring, but I haven't had any drinks. I promise. Well, it is New Year's Eve, so it would be the appropriate time to drink now, wouldn't it? But Free Lunch Joe only does that on Drinks with Joe. Well, except for when I was off a diet, in which case that was drinking all the time. Well, I say all the time, but uh, like one shot at night at most. Lost, uh, lost tolerance for it, really. But anyway, I was going to say that on the plus side, Free Lunch Joe is not feeling like it's a meh day. And on the plus side, Freelancer Joe was not feeling like it was a blech day. Sadly, a Freelancer Joe feels like it's a depressing kind of day. How depressing? Well, to be honest, I'm probably going to go into work. That's not actually what's making me depressed. But the fact is that I'm so depressed that I'm willing to go into work tomorrow. Because I figure if I'm going to be depressed, I might as well have an actual solid reason to be depressed and get paid. And going to work is a good one. I have such a morbid and dark humor. Uh, but hey, hey, you know, sometimes it's what you need to get through life. Or at least it's what Freelancer Joe needs to get through life. I know, I know. Freelancer Joe has all this. Why would he need a dark sense of humor? Well... As open and sharing as I am, Freelancer Joe doesn't actually share everything. Uh, oh, and so, well, number one, the, the camera, okay, the camera's not choppy today, so I don't have the Blu-ray drive plugged in, the external optical drive, I should say, plugged in, so that should be not dealing with that. And as for the slowdown when I was typing around yesterday, it was the file handler stuff. I had too many uh, open file handles. Well, it's not actually true. What it is is that I had too many open file handles for what the system thought it should be, the number of file handles it thinks it should have. This is a funny thing about Unix OSs. It's like it always ships with like a really low number of file handles. And uh, I mean, I remember seeing this before and Visual Studio gave a little prompt about how to fix it. And we tried it, but it didn't work. And anyway, hopefully it doesn't tr happen today because I really don't want to spend the time figuring it out. But then again, I am, I'm so depressed that I didn't even bother putting myself always on top. Uh, maybe I'm not always on top. Sad, sad, sad. Sad, no bueno, muy malo. Uh, all right, so this is the pure template. Let's open up to the sidebar template. Yeah, 2018, almost over. One heck of a way to end the year, huh, guys? And gals, and whatever you choose your gender to be. I'm sorry, there's only two, but... Hmm. Now this is interesting. Apparently I've only documented the Facebook hover circle as technical debt on sidebar. But we know that variant thing is also going to be an issue too. Interesting. Uh, so what are we going to do? Well, let's start it up and verify that that uh, there is actually that variant warning too. I mean, where I mean super efficient, I just go ahead and fix this stuff first and then start it up, but... Yeah. On the plus side, plus side, interesting thing about depression, it does actually dent hunger pains. Of course, I have such a voracious appetite that it doesn't completely get rid of them. <laughs> Again, dark humor. But it does dent them. So, yeah, I mean, I got that going for me. That's good. Uh, 
So y'all got plans for New Year's Eve? Staying up late, watching the ball drop? Actually, I know this is shocking to many Americans, but it's already been New Year's in other parts of the uh, other parts of the world. Uh, halfway around the globe, they're about 12 hours ahead of us right now. So right now, it's actually what uh, four four o'clock in the morning for them. Four o'clock in the morning on January 1st. And they are, well, actually, it would be, I mean, that's 17, actually, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning for them. I'm thinking about a specific time zone. Eh, and I'm sure those of you who are inclined to look it up and figure out what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. All right, so that is fine. That is not fine. All right, so that's good. So we have the fix there, but not there. Okay. And let's see if we have the typography variance warning, which we should. And there, we have the deprecated typography variance warning. Okay, so we'll be smart, and we'll open this up right away because this tells us what to replace. as well as to what to put into my config. Nice, nice. And let's go ahead and bring up GitHub while we're at it. I might actually end this episode early, to be honest. I mean, one is the meh thing. The other is, uh, even though I'm not, I'm not meh, the depressed thing, I should say. But, uh, even though uh, you're looking at me, you're saying, but Freelancer Joe, you're looking so jacked. What do you have to be depressed about? And it's true, I am jacked. I did resume the training today. Uh, supposed to do it yesterday, so yesterday would have been squats, and today shoulder press, but since I skipped yesterday, I did squats today, because that's a really big compound movement. It has much more bang for the buck. Uh, plus, since I'm not going to train tomorrow... Uh, I could use the extra time for recovery in case it has a bigger impact than I thought it would. But, um, yeah, plenty of energy. Did good on that. And uh, surprisingly, despite packing on 10 plus pounds, 15 pounds. Uh, is that, yeah, about 15 pounds over my time off. Uh, it actually didn't um, impact the chin-ups or pull-ups. So that's pretty good. Dips were solid. Uh, hanging leg raises were solid. Uh, the one interesting thing, though, is I don't do much cardio, but I do about um, I do about a mile on an elliptical trainer after I do my lifting, and then I could feel the heart rate going up. So that was interesting. I guess I had been a little too sedentary during my time off, but everything else stayed fine. So that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> all right, so the first thing we do, we'll go ahead and put this in my theme declaration, which happens to be defined in my config file. Well, it's not really a configuration file because it's a JavaScript file, but hey, yeah, meh, whatever. Put that there. That is fine. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet you this might trip the file handler thing. File handler thing. If I do the searches. So first we're gonna look for any references to the display variant. And actually first we're just gonna stop this since that. Since the hot loader doesn't even work. So no point in leaving it running. Uh, variant equals display. It would help if I could spell variant correctly. It would help if I could spell variant correctly. <laughs> the screen is so far away. I can't. I can't tell. There we go. All right, and display two is uh, 
is supposed to be da, 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 H3. All right. H3. 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 Do, do, do. This play hit three. And that selected the entire line. All right. Uh, what else was deprecated? Ah, deprecated headline. Headline. Nope. Title, subheading, title. Oh, wow. You said a lot. Title became H6. H6. I could probably. No, I could do a global search and replace. But I don't like global search and replaces. Never have, never will. I'm sure the elite hardcore code ninjas are snickering at me for that, as well they should. But I found it often takes, causes more work than it solves. Plus, there is some benefit to actually, actually going slower. It's the whole point behind uh, like uh, coffee breaks or water breaks or smoke breaks. You know how many solutions I've come up with while I was actually not looking at code? Sometimes you just get too focused on what's in front of you and that you don't pay attention or you don't think uh, outside the box, so to speak. Do, 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 do. So that was headline. Okay, title. No, that was title. Uh, sorry. Subheading, which is replaced with subheading one, subtitle one. Right? Subtitle one and body two, which gets replaced with body one. Oh, I forgot what it was. Subtitle one. Body two. I wonder if I have any references to body one, actually. I probably should have searched for that before I just did these replacements. When you're depressed, you don't... You don't care about 12. Body one... You know, I probably should have spent more time for drinks with Joe so thinking about what the new year would be like. Well, to be fair, I didn't think it would be like this. Really? And body one becomes body two? Huh. Whatever. All right. Save all. And let's start it up. NPM start. Yeah. I haven't even come up with any resolutions for the new year. Well, I think I mentioned yesterday that I was feeling a little lost. Without that core, without that center. So my freelancer episodes, I'm always talking about where you want to go. But what happens if you're not sure you want to get there anymore? Maybe it's not Shangri-La like you thought it would be. Oh, this is so depressing. Well, that's, when you're depressed, it makes sense that you would say depressing things, right? So thank you for bearing with me as I muddle through but at least even when i'm muddling through i'm still getting stuff done things done 
All right, do we have any warnings? No, no warnings on this. Warnings on this? Nope. Right? Nope. Clear that. Warnings on view one? No. Okay. Warnings on view two? New. Warnings on view three. No. And let's double check if we do a double navigation if we get a warning. Because that was a problem before. No. All right. That's good. Um, while we got this up and running, let's go ahead and see if opening an external link causes an error. No, it does not look like it for that one. But let's check the other one too. It opens fine and okay. No error. All right, so that's good. Bueno. And that means uh, actually we might leave that one open just in case. So now all we got to do is fix this bad boy right here. All right, so this is the bottom bar, and we know it's working in the top bar. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top bar. Well, let's go ahead and close this, and this, and this, and this. You think I'm going to close this too? I am going to close this too. And this. All right, so top bar. So the basic issue was is that I was specifying a class for the button style that doesn't exist. And it doesn't matter because I actually need to override the root class style. Now it's working in the top bar. All right, so, uh, interesting. Interesting. So I've defined it differently. The other places I had button root and I just specified the width and height, but here I have icon button. So I must have run into this problem before. I knew I ran into this problem before. All right, so let's take a look at Tigless render CFG social buttons. Oh, that's interesting. That actually works there. Well, let's see if it works for the bottom bar. I mean, to be consistent, I'm going to change it to the other way, but let's see if it works for the bottom bar. I use the six places button there. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So in theory, if I just replace the that with that, it'll work. And yet, oh, primary light really. Well, I don't want to replace it because the color changes. So let's just put in the min height and width and let's change the margin comment out the margin i should say let's see if that works did i stop uh, i bet you the file handles uh, file handles are complaining again let's see no nope, not yet Uh, saved it. All right, let's restart it. That's interesting. I could have sworn I tried that. Like, really, I could have sworn I tried that. Didn't I try that? It feels like I tried that.
Oh, that's interesting to refresh the other one, too. Curious. Well, we'll close that. Move out of here. And that obviously still works because it didn't change that. And this. Interesting. Very interesting that that worked and it didn't work on the other one. Huh. So should I leave it like that? I mean, it works. But it's not consistent across my styles. Well, let me see if the other option works too. And the other option. Alright, so let's... Uh, I don't use button root. Yeah, okay, I don't have button root. So now... We'll leave the color, because I do know I want the color to be like that. Button root width is 48, height is 48, and that, and under the social button, oh look at that, the format's off, hmm, sloppy sloppy. So we'll leave that as that classes equals do to do, do. We need the double attribution because it has to evaluate root is classes dot button root. Close that. Stop that. Save. Restart. Bring that up and move out of the way. I thought I brought it up. Hmm. Maybe I specified height and width, and I didn't specify min width and min height. I don't know. That would almost be worth checking into. Almost. Let's see. Alright, so that's up. And that works. Hmm. Well, well, for consistency's sake, I am going to stick with doing overriding the root class. That is ah, so very strange. Because that would be like the first thing I would try and do is change the width and height, not uh, override one of the styles. Now the issue is. How many places do I use icon button? Nine places. Toggle sidebar. Well, that's one. Social buttons. So I import it. Now, the other problem is this. This guy right here. Is, who else uses that? Oh, nobody else uses it. Okay. All right. So... I'm going to change you to width 48, height 48. Let's just comment these out for now. I guess I don't use this at all, but we'll leave it in there for now. I'm hoping that Webpack is smart enough to kind of remove stuff that's not actually referenced. Wrong button, wrong button. Control F, no. Control F. Ooh, I do hope this is recording correctly. I didn't actually do my pre-check 
where I record and then look at the recording to see if it's recorded correctly, but I did do the mic check, so I'm pretty certain the mic is working. Uh, would be a great way to end, uh, end the new year, though, or end this year. Just uh, completely botching that. All right, classes equals da, 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 evaluate root classes uh, dot button root. Thank you. And the other place for the icon button is on the links itself. I could have just cut and pasted that one, but. There is something sometimes therapeutic to just stupidly typing things. And a plus, you know, kind of getting back into the swing of things. Because I don't think I did a lot of typing last week when I was on my staycation. Alright, so that's that. It's, uh, is that a... Uh, oh, that's closed, okay. So let's restart it. I hope it's not too crazy tonight. Yeah, rain and wet roads. People drinking. Could be a mess. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a mess when I get up tomorrow morning. Though you know the 5-0 is going to be out there. All right. An important job. An important job indeed. Okay, so that comes up. Let's see. That still works. How about you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is so strange, though. I'm not sure why that does it that way. Or why that worked, but when I tried it at the other place, it did not work. Hmm. Okay, so I think that's that's good. Now, one thing I do want to do uh, is in that, and then let's go ahead and well, we can get rid of this tech deb, but we'll replace it with the other technical deb block comment block that I like. That's under read me. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's nice. That's the good stuff. All right, smart. I can actually go put this in all the other ones, too, ahead of time. But I'm smart enough to know that where I'm smart, I do it. Where I truly smart and efficient, I go do it. Eh, eh. Uh, da -da. So that's saved. Let's go ahead and clear. Get status. Get commit dash m. Take the cleanup. Get push. Ask me for my password. She is pushed. And let's see if that was sidebar. Sidebar. And it was pushed in 19 seconds ago. So, yeah, we're all checked in. We are good. And we are just about at the 30 minute mark. Actually, probably a minute shorter than normal because I took a minute while I was doing my mic check. But you're not going to see it if I post process this video correctly. Yeah, so I'll wrap this up for now. Um, thank you for joining me and for bearing with me in this depressing day but i really do hope that my depression cheers you up hey come on that, that, that's gotta be something right come on i mean because you see all this you're like man i wish something was gonna keep him down well you got it um <laughs> i'm just kidding i know i know you're not petty like that i'm petty like that but i know you're not petty like that uh yeah so Wrapping it up for now, cool kid words about liking and subscribing, commenting and suggesting. Tomorrow we're going to move on either to demo or my website or the, my client's website. Probably my, probably the client website because that will be quicker, I think. 
Uh, my own website would probably take like two days, maybe, depending on how bad it is. The demo would definitely take longer. Wow, I thought I was going to finish halfway through this week. Well, I thought I was going to average like two projects a day, so yeah. Anyway, wrapping up for now. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve, a wonderful New Year's celebration. Um, if you don't join me tomorrow, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Day. And until the next time you join me, take care and God bless.